What's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here. New video today about how we can do this for your real estate videos where we, you know, basically make any kind of custom title you want into something real estate specific with, you know, either listing all three area, bathrooms and bedrooms or, you know, just making something that you already have specific to a real estate icon you want to use. Any title you have, this will work for any software. I'm showing you in Final Cut Pro, I'm also gonna do a little bit of Photoshop, which is even easier. So let's get started. First, uh, you know, just so you know, this is being used as a font right now. So we can select this and, you know, work with it as any title. So that's what makes it great. First thing we need to do is get this font awesome, which you may be familiar with, okay? And uh, we're gonna go find that right now. So in our web browser, fontawesome.com, you can either choose to pay for a version or you can get started for free. Just scroll down, download. And when that saves on your computer, you're, depending on your operating system, this is a Mac right now, um, follow your default system instructions for installing that. So once that's done, I'm not gonna walk you through that process. Uh, we can head over here for some software. This is something that's a little helpful, font awesome, cheat sheet. So the weird thing is I've downloaded V6, which is recently released, but this is a V5 cheat sheet. So I don't know um, if there's another one, but this is the link I found. Uh, we need this in Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro doesn't handle ligatures properly the way Photoshop will, which is one thing that makes this way easier. So we've got it installed. We are going to move into Final Cut Pro and I will show you how to use any of these. And as you can see, there's just a ton of different options. If you want to use, you know, beds obviously useful for real estate uh, as I use it. But maybe you also have some call outs and you want to point out, um, who knows, nearby churches or dog parks. So we've got that installed. Let me show you how you can see what else you have. Uh, we're going to go font book on our Apple here. And here we are. This is it. Font awesome. Uh, as you can see, regular doesn't have a lot of images with it. And we have to go to solid to see all the ones we like. This is a good handy reference, but it doesn't always work uh, to copy straight from here out. Some of them do, but the key ones I like to use do not work this way, so I had to discover uh, another one. But otherwise, you could be dragging and dropping whichever image you like into your window beside this. So let's get a new title. Basic title. We're going to say... Um, uh, let's change this to our font that has all of the graphics. I am showing you for ease of use with the entire line of text, but you can, just as any other title, you can mix and match where fonts or which characters are in which fonts. So you're not constrained to having writing that looks like this. Okay, get it to solid. And right here we are going to plan to put our little graphic. Let's go to our cheat sheet. I know there's one somewhere. We're going to speed up this looking for it. Okay, ruler combined, like this one. Copy, over here, we are in Font Awesome Solid. Okay, and paste it in. And now here we have it, just like everything else, we can apply whatever we want to it, regular font stuff. And we can even go into the 3D styles if we wanted. Let's find glossy green, why not? Shrink it down a bit. Go back to our font awesome. And there we go, we've got a fast 3D title. Switch this out to whatever you want now. That, that's the hard way, believe it or not. Let's go into Photoshop for the easy way. So here we go, we wanna do beds. Bed, wow, look at that, okay. Let's go bath, right? Shower. Let's try that last one. Ruler combined. 
So how I found that is just all of these names here, ribbon, ring, road, robot, ruler, horizontal, ruler, vertical, you know, so on and so forth. These are going to, I'm still learning about them, but they're ligatures. It's basically when you write this, um, it's going to assume that you would prefer to have the fonts icon for it instead. And it's normally designed for, you know, combinations of letters that may have certain ways of writing them together. Um, so that's a cool feature that we can, we can make use of here. Uh, Photoshop does it again, and I'll show you that Final Cut Pro does not. So here we are. Let's go ruler combined again, space, and nothing happens. So that's why this is no, not as easy. What if you are working on a PDF presentation in something like Apple Pages and you want to spice it up with some very fast and easy icons as well? It's about as easy as the Photoshop version. I still don't know why Final Cut Pro can't do this, but here we go with the ligatures. Uh, let's switch it over here to Font Awesome 6 free. And again, make sure we're on solid. Let's get up to a size we like, and we'll just do a dog. Or how about a car? Uh, what was it? Plane arrival? Departure, right? So uh, any number, you know, I'm again, focusing on some of the real estate marketing uses for this, but this could you know, obviously be easy for anyone in design. And it seems like a little known feature and certainly easier than a way I tried doing it in the past where we find a way to get these into SVGs, which you can sometimes download easier, or at least if that's what you're looking for because you don't know how easy using something like this is. So there we go. It's as easy as that to use a free font that you can get very quickly off the internet, install it on your system to use with any of your software, including Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion, to make your own custom templates like this one that I've done here, which uh, is just easy to use, can quickly jot off some information for any kind of most of the properties that I make real estate videos for, and obviously any variation you want to do of something like this and the even easier process of how to do it in something like Photoshop. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Leave a question if you have any, and we'll be getting back to you with some more videos as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.